Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Chris Martharina for today's contest between the visiting West Alabama Tigers and your University of Alabama Falcons. Please welcome the nine starters beginning with the visitors from West Alabama. Number zero, Kadarion Allen. Number one, CJ Melton. Number two, Justin Allison. Number three, Karan Garner. And number five, Terry Durham. UWA is led by head coach Nick Woodruff and assistant coach Jake Johnny. And now, let's make some stars for your Lottabout Falcon. A graduate from Fort Collins, Colorado, number one, Braxton Chevrolet. A senior guard from Queens, New York, number three, James McNeil. A graduate from Lottabout, Alabama. Smith. A freshman guard from Montebello, Alabama, number 10, MJ Jones. And a redshirt sophomore from Shippensville, Kentucky, number 24, Mason Shiflett. Montebello is led by head coach Anthony Camaro with assistant coach Byron Nixon. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Trustmark Arena for today's matchup between the Montevallo Falcons and the West Alabama Tigers. Just getting ready for a tip-off. Your starters for the West Alabama Tigers. Number zero, Shadarian Allen. Number one, C.J. Melton. Number two, Justin Allison. Number three, Curran Garner. And number five, Terry Durham. For your Montevallo Falcons, Number one, Braxton Bertolet. Number three, J.C. McNeil. Number five, T.E. Smith. Number 11, M.J. Jones. Mason Shiflet. Number 24. Here we go, and we're underway here. West Alabama wins the tip off. Falcons are coming into this game with after their first conference loss to the University of West Georgia. Braxton Bertolette scored 32 points and tied a program record with eight May three-pointers in that game. Shot up by number three of West Alabama. That's rebounded by Mason Shiflett, number 24. The freshman guard, MJ Jones, has been named the GSC Freshman of the Week during their first regular season game against Tampa Bay where he dropped 26 points. Number five, T.E. Smith driving into the paint. This is the ball rebounded by West Alabama. The Tigers are coming into the first conference game after an 87-56 win against Albany State. And Shadarian with a three, but just missed. That goes out on the Falcons. That's going to be... Number two, Justin Allison taking the ball for the West Alabama Tigers. Three attempt made by number three, Curran Gardner of the West Alabama Tigers. 
And now NJ Jones with the ball. T.E.S. NJ Jones with the ball, drives into the paint, passes outside to number three, three, and just off that inside near rim. Mason Schiffel steals the ball back for the Falcons, puts up three, and makes the ball. Three, Mason Shiflet. West Alabama with the ball, pass back out, and he goes to put up, but looks like that will go nowhere. And it's gonna be an offensive foul on number one, C.J. Mountain of West Alabama becomes Montevallo ball. So, now with the ball, number three, J.C. McNeil passing it over to M.J. Jones. Back to Mason Shiflett. Mason Shiflett with the two, and just off that front run, but he rebounds the ball, and he loses it. And Darian with the ball. Now number three, Curran Gardner. Back out to Curran, over to Justin Allison, up for the three, and just off that front rim. Rebound collected by MJ Jones, who drives down into the paint, goes up, puts a layup, and draws a foul there. Foul on Curran Gardner of, num of West Alabama, number three. That's his first foul of the game. West Alabama already got two team fouls, and it looks like NJ Jones will take those two free throws, and he misses the first one. Montevallo is head coached by Anthony Kamara with assistant coach Brian Mincy, University of Alabama. West Alabama has Nick Woodroff for head coach and assistant coach Jake Joblin. And MJ Jones makes that free throw, and now Curran Gardner drives in, and he, they lose the ball but recollect it, recollecting it is number five, Terry Durham loses it, and now he's gonna put it up to number one and over to zero. They lose control of the ball. Curran Gardner, four, three, loses it. And that will be a personal foul on Mason Shiflett. Mason Shiflett, that's his first foul of the game. Taking it for the West Alabama Tigers is Justin Allison. He puts it in to number five, Terry Durham. He loses control but regains, passing it out to Kern Gardner. Out to Zedarian. Zedarian for the three, off that front rim. TJ McNeil. And now it's Braxton Bertolette with the ball, passing it to T.E. Smith. And now McNeil with the ball. And Jones drives in, and that's going to draw a foul. Jay's going to draw a foul on number three. That's going to be, that is Curran Gardner's second foul of the game. Third team foul. N.J. Jones taking the free throws for Montevallo. And makes the first one. Change of players here for West Alabama. Number 22 coming on. That is Thad Williams. Thaddeus Williams. And Jay Jones lining up for the second free throw shot. That one just looks like that went off that back edge rim. They pass it, move it downfield. Number five takes a shot, but that's gonna, he's going to be denied. That's going to draw another foul. That's personal foul on T. E. S. on T. Smith. That's his first of the game. And shooting for the West Alabama Tigers is number five, Terry Durham. Shoots the first one. That's in. Making a one point game now. Coming up for his last free throw here. Tie. It's up and it's in. Tie game now. Braxton Bertolette will put the get ball back in to MJ Jones. MJ looking to move the deep, move the, really help us out here. Check down to T.E. Smith. T.E. Smith losing control of the ball. And it's 
West Alabama's ball now. A little bit of jawing going on down there with T. E. Smith and Thaddeus Williams. It's going to be a jump ball here. T. Smith with the ball, puts it up for the layup and in. T. Smith with the two there for the layup. Five, seven. And now with the ball is number 22, Thaddeus Williams. He gives it to Shadarian Allen. Now Justin Allison with the ball, passing it back to Thaddeus Williams. Guarded by Braxton Bertolette. Justin Allison guarded by MJ Jones. He moves, makes a move into the paint, misses, but it's rebounded by number five, Terry Durham, and he puts it in for two. MJ Jones with the ball for Montevallo. Trying to move his guys around, trying to get an opening here. Braxton Bertolette with the ball. Mason Shiflet drives in, loses control. And it, we're going to have a foul here. And that is a foul on West Alabama, Terry Durham. That's his first of the game. We're going to have a non-media timeout. So far, game is tied 7-7 with 15-40 in the game. Two team fouls on Mount Valley and four on West Alabama. Great ball movement here happening in the first period by both teams. Some of the first half, some of the first period stats. West Alabama is two for eight on field goals, one for five on three pointers, and two for two on free throws. Four. Montevallo, they're two for five on field goals, one for two on three-pointers, and two for four on free throws. With all the fouls happening, Terry Durham has one, and then C.J. Moulton has one, and Curran Garner has two. For the Falcons, T.E. Smith has one foul, and Mason Shiflet has one foul. So they'll return back onto the court as we'll see. It will be a Montevallo check-in. NJ Jones will be checking in for Falcons. And passing it out to Braxton Bertolette. Braxton Bertolette is the feature Falcon. Last season, he led the Falcons in scoring average of 15.9 points per game. He currently leads the Falcons in points, rebounds, and three-pointers. MJ Jones dancing around, and he puts it up for a two, but it hits that rim. West Alabama now with the ball. Shadarian with the ball out to Thaddeus Williams. Shadarian with the ball, now passing over to Justin Allison, back to Thaddeus Williams. Shadarian Allen with the three, and he hits that back rim. Braxton Bertolette is there to collect the rebound. Pass up to Mason Shiflet. Pumps for the three. Takes the three shot and just off that rim. And Justin Allison is there to collect the rebound for West Alabama. Now, Justin Allison with the ball covered by Braxton Bertolette. Passes it off to number one, CJ Melton. Dumps it into Terry Durham. And he battles for the ball, tosses it back out. Justin Allison with the three, and he misses. Collected by MJ Jones. He paces, passes it downfield. Oh, but it's stolen by the West Alabama Tigers. Nice bit of slipping and sliding down there on the one end. It's like a water park. 
So Darian Allen with it. Trying to drive up, shoots, and makes the two for the West Alabama Tigers. MJ Jones with the ball. MJ looking to pass it off to Mason Shifflett now. He passes up to McNeil. And JC McNeil makes a run to the basket and puts it in for the layup for two. And the whistle's being blown. And there's a delay of game on J.C. McNeil. Checking out of the game is Mason Shifflett and T.E. Smith. In for the Falcons is number 32, Aiden Gardner. Aiden Gardner. And number two, Kendon Knight. Also in for the West Alabama Tigers, number 21, Peter Ture. And checking in is West Alabama. And with the ball is Thaddeus Williams, covered by three Falcons. Who passes that to Justin Allison. So he's trying to work it around that three-point line as they try to find something. As he drives into the paint, Justin Allison open for a three and off that inside part of the rim. And blocked by Braxton Bertolet. Braxton Bertolet puts it up to J.C. McPhail, up to N.J. Jones. N.J. Jones up for the three. And off that inside rim. And passing it upfield to 21. Bump. And Gardner. And Peter Ture drawing the foul on, on Gardner. And that's Aiden Gardner's first foul of the game. Scores 9-9. West Alabama free throw for two. And Peter Ture missing that very first one. Now coming in is number 24, Trevor Dennis for West Alabama. Gonna hear all the fans. And he misses the second free throw. MJ Jones with the ball. As now they look to rearrange the offense to score. J.C. McNeil with the ball, almost lost it there. MJ Jones now has it, passes it off to Kendon Knight. Kendon Knight, looks like we have a foul here. This is a foul on number three. On number one, C.J. Melton of West Alabama. And now he's being chased in with number five, Terry Durham. Braxton Berlitt checking it in. In Gardner now dumps it back off. Backs in Pertolet with a three. Just misses off that inside. Justin Allison with the ball. Rivers pass two people. And now the foul drawn on West Alabama. That's a personal foul on West Alabama. Numbers two, Justin Allison. That's his first of the game. And Braxton Bertolet will take this ball and check it in to MJ Jones. So oh, MJ Jones with the ball. Score is still tied 9-9. Dumps it off to Aiden Gardner who's driving into the paint. And we're gonna have a travel here it seems like. A shooting foul. Now in for the Falcons, number 23, Austin Latch. Justin Mallison with the ball, dumps it off to Trevor Dennis. Trevor Dennis with a three shot, and he hits that rim. And MJ Jones is there to collect the rebound. Pass to Braxton Bertolette. Braxton drives in, dumps it off. Shot for three. Oh, just off that inside rim. Shot was by Kendon Knight. Now with the ball, Justin Allison. West Alabama looking to drive in, and Justin Allen drives in. We're gonna have a foul. And MJ Jones with a personal foul. Is 
There's a personal foul there on MJ Jones. That's his first of the game. And UWA Tigers were looking for a call there for that to be counted as a point, but refs say no. He was on the ground when that happened. Planted. So as we take a little break here, 11.44 in this first period left. Score still tied, 9-9. Fouls for Montevallo, four. And for West Alabama, six. For the shooting of the period, West Alabama is three for 14 on field goals. Three pointers, one for nine. And for free throws, two for four. For this first period, for the Falcons, they're three for 11 here and one for six on three pointers and two for four on free throws. Fouls currently. Terry Durham has one. CJ Mountain has two. Justin Allison has one. Curran Gardner has two. For the Falcons, T. Smith has one foul. MJ Jones, one foul. Mason Schiff went one foul. And Aiden Gardner, one foul. Currently, the game is tied. Now it's UWA's ball as they get to check it in here. Gonna be checked in here by number 22, Thaddeus Williams. Covering him is Braxton Bertolette. He's gonna put it out there to number five, Terry Durham. He gives it right back to Thaddeus. Thaddeus with the three, and that's off that inner part. And we have a foul here, it looks like. And that foul. That is Personal foul on Kendon Knight. That's his first of the game. And it's going to be passed back out to Terry Durham again. Same play as the last one. So Thaddeus drives in this time, dumps it off to Justin Allison. Trevor Dennis passing it back to Justin Allison. Looking for the pick and roll. But they, sh oh, shot clock at three. He takes the shot and misses it. N.J. Jones with the ball for the Falcons. And we're going to have a foul. N.J. Jones with the second foul of the game there, personal foul. N.J. Jones, Kendon Knight, and Aiden Gardner come out and replacing them is Mason Shifflett, T.E. Smith, and J.C. McNeil. Checked in by Trevor Dennis. Is for West Alabama, Thaddeus Williams with the ball. Covered by J.C. McNeil. Looking for an open man. Mason Shifflett knocks that one, but Justin Allison picks it right back up. T.E. Smith covering him, and Justin Allison steps back and makes the two. Braxton Bertolet drives up and makes the two to counter that two, making it 11-11. What? a game. It is a back and forth match here. One team makes it, they answer right, the other one answers right back. That time it was West Alabama and then Montevallo answered right back. Three made by number 22 Thaddeus Williams. J.C. McNeil with the ball for the Falcons. And now T.E. Smith back up to Braxton Bertolette. J.C. McNeil with the ball, four out, directing the offense, passing it out to number 23, 23 up for the shot. And number 24 draw, getting called on a foul there. And that's his first, that's Trevor Dennis' first of the main match. Taking the free throws is Austin Lotch. We'll be taking the two free throws here for Montevallo. Here's the first one, it's up and it's in. That's one free throw. Austin Latch now stepping up for his second free throw. It's 12-14 here. 16 fouls for Montevallo and seven for West Alabama. Free throw is made. Looks like we're gonna have one more here. All right, so 13-14, and Latch.
come out with the final free throw, and he makes that, and the game is now tied, 14-14. All right, taking in the check-in is Trevor Dennis of West Alabama. And it seems like we're going to have a personal foul here. J.C. McNeil, personal foul. That's his first of the game as well. And that's Montevallo's seventh team foul. Both teams with the bonus up on the board. Session is to West Alabama, though. Number 22, Thaddeus Williams taking the free throws for West Alabama. Here's the shot, and he misses. Braxton Bertolette there to collect the ball for the rebound and gets it to J.C. McNeil. J.C. McNeil passes it off to Braxton Bertolette. And Braxton trying to find an open lane to drive up, and he loses the ball. And we will have a foul that will go Montevallo's way. Fouls on Thaddeus Williams, number 22 of West Alabama. That's their eighth team foul. That is Thaddeus, that's Thaddeus Williams' first personal foul of the game. And as we heard, Braxton Bertolette will be taking these free throws. Again, Braxton Bertolette, today's featured Falcon. He holds the points, holds the lead in points with 69 points. Holds rebounds as well with 15. Assist is tied with NJ, is NJ Jones. NJ Jones also holds the steals with five and Bertolette with the three pointers with 13. West Alabama individual stats. Leader in the points is Duran Gardner. Curran Gardner rebounds is held by Terry Durham. CJ Melton holding on to nine assists for the individual stats. Steals is also Curran Gardner as well as three pointers belongs to Curran Gardner. And TJ Durham drives in, dumps it off to number 21. And he draws a foul, it seems like. And yes, Aiden Gardner will get called for a personal, his first personal foul. And that will be Peter Ture taking this one. So we see number four, Tyler Moore checked into the game for the Falcons, placing Braxton Bertolette. Peter Ture taking the first free throw for West Alabama. Here's the shot, and it's in. Here's the second shot, and he makes that one as well. We're going to see a sub in here for number 21, Peter Ture. Number one, C.J. Melton comes on. And number four, Tyler Moore checks it into the game to C.J. McNeil. C.J. McNeil telling them to move down the court. C.J. McNeil drives into the shooting lane, tosses it back out to Mason Shiflet. Mason Shiflet shoots, and that's off that front part of the rim there. And that's collected by West Alabama for the rebound. And Justin Allison with the ball. An outside play there. Justin Allison. Covered by Tyler Moore. Now passed off to Thaddeus Williams. Chains of guard. CJ Mountain shoots with four seconds left, and that misses off the backboard. Now with the ball is Tyler Moore. Tyler Moore trying to find an open Falcon. Passes off to Aiden Gardner. C.J. McNeil looking for a pick and roll. Mason Shiflet with the ball. Moving the ball around very effectively here for the Falcons. T.E. Smith tries to throw it to Tyler Moore. C.J. McNeil drives in. Mason Shiflet almost puts that in. And now with the ball, Thaddeus Williams dumps it off to Justin Allison. He throws it to the other side to K.G. and Allen and he, Shadarian Allen, and he misses that for three. Tyler Moeller with the ball. Conducting the offense here. It's now five is trying to move this ball. Said, seemed like 
looks like we have some great ball movement. T.E. Smith with a three, and that goes off the inside. Makes Shiflet with the ball, and he goes to take shot, and he draws a foul. Foul. And that's going to be a foul on C.J. Melton. That's his third. That's that's his third personal of the night, and we have a media timeout now. So, 7.46 in this first period left. Game is still tied, 16-16. Uh, personal foul, team fouls, Montevallo has eight, and West Alabama has nine. Most recent foul was drawn by C.J. Melton of the West Alabama Tigers. That's his third personal foul of the game, folks. This is the Falcons' first technical, men's Falcons' first technical home game of the year, as well as the first Gulf South Conference home game of the year. For the Tigers, this is the first Gulf South Conference game in general. Hello, everyone. If you're just now tuning in, my name's Aiden Golden. We have an interesting contest here. Falcons 16, what Tigers 16. Tie game here in the first period. 7-16, 7.46 left in the game. Some of the first period stats now provided to me. For the West Alabama Tigers, they're five for 20 field goal, two for 14 on threes, and four for seven on free throws. For the Falcons, we're four for 16 on field goal percentage. One for seven on three pointers and seven for nine on free throws. Mason Shiflet taking the free throw here. Mason Shiflet was a vital part of last season's Falcons. Great to see that he is still making a major impact with his team. Here's the shot, and he makes that free throw, making this a one-point game. And that is Curran Gardner with the ball, dumping it back to Thaddeus Williams, covered by Tyler Moore. Jadarian Allen with the ball, now to C.J. Melton, back to Thaddeus Williams. And that's a three by Terry Durham, misses it just off that back edge. And that's going to be a ball out on Montevallo, it seems. But it looks like the fans in the stands had a different point of view and think that was a West Alabama out instead. And that's a toss up. And Mason Shiflet almost stealing that ball back as Terry Durham was just caught off guard. And Thaddeus Williams passing it out to Sedarian Allen. Allen drives in, dumps it off to Terry Durham. Terry Durham still battling, and he puts it in for two points for the West Alabama Tigers. C.J. McNeil, J.C. McNeil with the ball. And Tay Smith now has the ball for the Falcons, giving it to Tyler Moore, who's guarded by C.J. Melton. Now Sedarian Allen. Tyler Moore drives in, fakes. Oh, just misses that too. And that's going to go out on Tay Smith and will be a West Alabama Tigers ball. That will be checked in by Curran Gardner and gave to Thaddeus Williams. Ball movement has been very effective in this game so far, ladies and gentlemen. Right now, shot, shot clock's at 10. C.J. Melton still with the ball. Curran Gardner looking. Curran Gardner steps, pulls a shot, and makes it. Wow. What a shot by Curran Gardner. As a personal foul on Tyler Moore. That's his first personal foul of the game. And now checking in for the game, number 32, Aiden Gardner.
Taking the free throw is Curran Gardner after he made that tremendous two-point shot there. Misses that free throw, and it's rebounded by Aiden Gardner. And J.C. McNeil with the ball. And Curran Gardner swipes that ball away, but can't collect it, and the Falcons recollect it after the tipping. And so, pass over to Tyler Moore. Tyler Moore drives in, but he loses the control. And we will have a foul. Foul on Ian Gardner with a push, which is a personal foul, which is his second. And that is the team's 10th foul. And Tyler Moore went out and they tried to sub, but they said can't do that just yet. And now the sub will occur as Mason Shifflett will come on now. Score 17-21 with 5.46 left. Braxton Bertolet rebounds the ball, gives that off to J.C. McNeil. Here. And Braxton Bertolet with the pull up for the three and misses it as number 22, Thaddeus Williams, gets his second personal foul of the game, and causing a 10th team foul. Braxton Bertolet will take the free throws for the Montevallo Falcons. And he makes the first one. <laughs> Braxton Bertolet getting ready for his second free throw now. 18-21, he shoots, and that one is in. <laughs> now, now back on for the Alabama, West Alabama Tigers. It's number two, Justin Allison, and number 21, Peter Ture. Braxton Bertolette getting ready to take his third and final free throw, and that one's in for 20 to 21. All right. Now, West Alabama Tigers have the ball coming into the other side of the near side of the court here. Justin Allison. Dumps it off to Terry Durham. Hits a spin move, drives in and gets the two. <laughs> and Braxton Bertolette checking it in, gives it to J.C. McNeil. J.C. McNeil gives it back, those two passing it back and forth. J.C. McNeil with the ball, dumps it off to Aiden Gardner and almost puts it up but loses control. Current Gardner and Terry Durham just walks right into the basket. Aiden Gardner draws his third personal of the game. And now, Kendon Knight comes into the game to replace him. Terry Durham taking this free throw here. And he makes it. 20 to 26 in favor of the West Alabama Tigers. Five minutes passed. Five minutes left in this game, folks. J.C. McNeil with the ball. Passes over to T. Smith. T. Smith. T. Smith pulls up, shoots, and makes a three. T. Smith with a deep three. Putting this game within three. T. Smith with a nice little pull. Pull up shot for three there. And now Shadarian Allen with the ball, passing it over to Curran Gardner and over there to Justin Allison. Now we're here to Shadarian Allen. Shadarian Allen trying to make some people miss. Puts it up for a two. And it comes out. Tay Smith there for the rebound. Gives it to JC now. Passes it up to Mason Shifflin. Mason Shifflin drives and puts it in for the two. 
And he draws a foul. Mason, Mason Shifflett gets the two and draws a foul. That's a personal foul on Peter Ture of the West Alabama Tigers. Mason Shifflett will be taking this free throw. Only one point down, four minutes left in this period. Mason Shifflett to take this free throw. He shoots. And that one is in. And now we're tied again, folks, 26-26. Checking it in is Curran Gardner. So, right back where we started, leveled, 26-26. Justin Allison with the ball. It looks like he loses it. And looks like a strange turn of events, but we're gonna have a foul on JC McNeil for kicking. That's his second personal in the game. Falcon fans on that not far side over there saying, can really getting angry over there at the call, as well as this side bench of the Falcons. So, West Alabama was just up by a good bit there. And then a three by Tay Smith puts the back, Falcons back within three. And then Mason Shifflett drives down the court, uncontested, puts it up and draws the foul at the same time and makes the free throw to tie the game. But now we have a, there's that Tay Smith three there. From deep. And now we should be seeing a shot here. We should be the next thing. Pat, here's the pass to Mason Shifflett where he drives uncontested and puts it up into and draws the foul. But we will see. JC McNeil drew a personal foul there. That's his second of the game. And should be seeing a free throw here for West Alabama. Three minutes and 41 left in this first period. Uh, taking this free throw is Justin Allison as he was the intended person that fell over over there that the foul was called for. Justin Allison sets up to the free throw line. And he takes a shot and he makes it. Justin Allison sets back up to the free throw line, takes a shot and makes it, putting him up 28 26. We're going to see a sub in here as CJ Melton comes in for a current gardener. Some of the stats, again, when we were at 26 26. Field goal percentage for the West Alabama Tigers was at nine for 27, three pointers, three for 15, and for free throws, six for 11. And T's, Tay Smith takes a shot, misses off that back corner. For the Falcons, we have a six for 20 field goal percentage, a two for eight free, three pointer, and a 12 for 15 free throw. And Justin Allison with the ball for the West Alabama Tigers, dumps it over to CJ Melton, gives it to Shadarian Allen, Shadarian trying to find Justin Allison, but he finds Terry Durham instead. CJ Melton with the three, and he makes that three. And now with the ball is Terry, Tyler Moore. Tyler Moore with the ball. As they try to find a way to get some points back here. Tyler Moore with the ball, drives into the paint. Trying to find moves, trying to find a way to get up there. Oh. Braxton Bertolette trying to get it over there to Tyler Moore, just overthrows him, and that goes out. Two and a 
half minutes left in this first period. 26-31 is your score in favor of the West Alabama Tigers. Justin Allison with the ball. Tyler Moore covering Justin Allison, and there's a pick and roll. Jadarian Allen drives in, puts it up, hits that corner, puts it back up. Rebound! Rebounded by Tay Smith. Tay Smith walking up, gets it off to Tyler Moore. Tyler Moore working around. Ty, Tay Smith was open there. Tay Smith drives in, loses the ball, and we're going to see a foul, a personal foul here on Tay Smith. It's going to give the West Alabama Tigers the ball. And we see Kenyon Knight come into the game for the Falcons. Judge Nelson will get this ball checked into him by C.J. Melton. Twenty-six thirty-nine is your score right now, folks. C.J. Melton passes it off. Justin Allison, Justin Allison with the three, misses. 21, Peter Teray picks, gets the rebound and puts it back up. For the second chance, Tyler Moore with the bar, ball. Tyler Moore looking for an opening. Finds Kendon Knight, stumbles a bit, puts it up, makes a shuffle, but loses the ball there to C.J. Melton. Fast break here for them, drives in. And we're going to have a foul here on the West Alabama Tigers, Shadarian Allen. We're going to have an offensive foul here on Shadarian Allen. And we have a media timeout, ladies and gentlemen. Score 26-33 here in the first period with a minute 16 remaining. Team fouls are at 10 each. And Montevallo will also be taking their first team timeout. The hot shooters from both teams. Terry Durham is four for six on field goals. Field goals. And for the Falcons, Tay Smith is two for five for made attempts. Coming into the game, number 23, Aiden Gardner. All right, and the Falcons are back out on the court. Like I said, Aiden Gardner back in. And Braxton Bertolette checks it in to Tyler Moore. Some more first period stats here. West Alabama Tigers at 11 for, 30, 11 for 32 on field goal percentage and three for 17 on threes and eight for 13 on free throws. For the Falcons on field goals, they're six for 21 for threes, two for eight, and for free throws, 12 for 15. And that's a three put up by Braxton. Bertolette puts it up for a three for the Falcons. Braxton Verlet drawing his first three of the night. And West Alabama's coach draw, calls up for a 30 second timeout here. Uh, Nick Woodruff. So with 37 seconds left here in the first period, scores 33 to 29. Falcons only down by five. Down by only down by four, actually. The ball will be checked in here on the far side or on the near side over here by me. And it is West Alabama's ball. Checking it in for the game is Curran Gardner. Curran Gardner checks the ball in for the West Alabama Tigers. And 
Justin Allison has the ball, gets it back over to Curran Gardner. Only 20, with only 20 seconds left in this first period. Justin Allison drives, shot clock, one. And we're gonna have a shooting violation, it seems, or shot clock violation. And with 14 seconds left for the Falcons, can they drive down the court? Now on for the West Alabama Tigers, number 24, Trevor Dennis. And now, 10 seconds remaining for the Falcons. Can they try to get a three here to put it any closer? Braxton Bertolet drives, finds Mason Shiflet. Puts it out, Trevor, Tyler Moore puts it up for the three, misses, and that's the first period. So at the end of the first half, West Alabama leads 33-29. to 29. Falcons behind by four. So very interesting first half, folks. Very interesting first half there, folks. Very effective ball movement. But right now, the team with the best is the West Alabama Tigers as they lead 29-33. We will have halftime stats here shortly as I shall provide to you guys. But, so, some of the first half stats, the score being 29-33 in favor of the West Alabama Tigers. Some of the shooting Stats for field goal percentage. West Alabama's Tigers are 11 for 33 with field goals, 3 for 17 for three pointers, and 8 for 13 in free throws. For the Falcons, the field goal percentage is at 7 for 23, three pointer, 3 for 10, and for free throws, 12 for 15. Braxton Bertolette, only one with a clocked, blocked shot. And for the West Alabama Tigers, Jadarian Allen also with one block. Fouls. As we look at the fouls, Jadarian Allen has two for the West Alabama Tigers. So looking back at some of the highlights of the second half, as we just saw there, that Mason Shiflet drive to tie the game there at one point. And there's a three-pointer there by... Justin Allison, here's a put up by Peter Teray right there that has him up by 33. So look here, this is that Braxton Bertolet for open three. That was his first three of the night. We look back, some of those fouls Darian Allen has two. Darian has two. Tyler Terry Durham has one. C.J. Melton has two. Justin Allison has one. Curran Gardner has two. Thaddeus Williams has two. And Peter Ture has one. And Trevor Dennis as well has one. For your Falcons foul wise, Tay Smith has two. J James McNeil has two. N.J. Jones has two, Mason Shiflet has one, Kendon Knight has one, Aiden Gardner has three, Austin Lotch is one, and Tyler Moore has one as well. The hot shooters for both teams. Terry Durham is four for six on um, field goals for three pointers. It's three people with one for two, and that's C.J. Melton. Curran Gardner and Thaddeus Williams. For your Falcons, the hot shooter is three people. Tay Smith is two for five. Braxton Bertolette is two for three. And Mason Shiflet is also two for five. For three pointers, we have three people again. It's Tay Smith, who's one for two. Braxton Bertolette, who is one for two as well. And Mason Shiflet, who is one for two. The free throw percentage overall, Falcons 80%, where's the Where's the West Alabama Tigers are 61.5%. Definitely, 
that we have three dead ball rebounds for West Alabama and two dead ball rebounds for University of Montevallo. Biggest lead was for West Alabama at seven. It was also their best scoring run. And for Montevallo, the biggest lead was two, and their best scoring run was six. Lead change, we saw four lead changes during that first period and two, eight ties. West Alabama has held the lead with 8-12 and Falcons with 204. Period by scoring, as I said, is 33 and 29. Some of the points, turnovers, is West Alabama 11, Montevallo 6. Within the paint, it's 10 for West Alabama and 6 for Montevallo. Second chance shots, 9 to 1. At fast breaks, 8 to 9 was Falcons' favorite in that one. And for the bench, 7 for 3. Some of the totals, rebounds, 7, 13, and 20. For this for West Alabama. Fouls, 12 and 13. Total points, 33. Assist, five. TOs, seven. Steals, five. There have been no technical, foul, technical fouls in this game. For the Falcons, the totals of rebounds are four, 17 and 21. Fouls, 13 and 12. Assist, two. TOs 12 and three steals. Each team has one block. Highest scorer right now for the West Alabama Tigers is Terry Durham with 12. And for the Falcons, it's number 10, or number one, Braxton Bertolette with 10. So, with the score only just being four points for the Falcons, you have to think what needs to happen, what kind of speech is gonna be said in that locker and to pump these guys up to get back out here, and try to come out with a win for the home crowd today. I'm Aiden Golden and I'll, we will be right back. Got you working? Yeah. Running for uh, the task? Dope, dope stuff. Huh? Did you get paid for it? I will afterwards. Okay. Like, I gotta go sign stuff after this. Okay. That's 
Hello and welcome back to Trustmark Arena. My name is Aiden Golden. Score here, 29-33, favor of the West Alabama Tigers. So, what is it going to take to get these Falcons back in this game? I'm gonna tell you. Ball movement has been very effective in this game. So, this has been a foul game. We've seen over 12 fouls for both teams and a tremendous amount of team fouls. So, with the Falcons only down by four, something has to happen in this second period if they were to pull out a home win here for this home crowd. So, to look at the Gulf South Conference standing so far, Christian Brothers is 1 0, Shorter is 1 0, Union 1 0. Valdosta 1 0. And West Georgia is 1 0. West Alabama, Alabama Huntsville, and Auburn Montgomery all sitting at zeros. And Mississippi College, West Florida, Montevallo, Lee, and Delta State, Delta State all sit at 0 1 in the Gulf standings. As I said earlier, MJ Jones was named the GSC Freshman of the Week after dropping 26 points in the first regular season game of the year against Tampa Bay, Tampa. As well as Bra our featured Falcon Braxton Burlett having a tremendous game a couple days ago against West Florida as he dropped a uh, 32 points and tying a program record with eight made threes. Will we see, will we get to see that record again in this second period as they are just down by four? Falcons are a very strong team. So the Falcons are coming, as the teams come back out onto the court to get ready for the second half, we're just about two and a half minutes away to start. Falcons, yet again, as I said, only down by four points. Something has to happen here in this second period in order for them to pull out an amazing home victory here and get their first win in the Gulf South Conference. As everyone knows, West Alabama is Montevallo's biggest rival and for this for them to come out of here with a win would be tremendous for them as well as a great show to that tremendous rivalry that continues here at this tremendous at this institution but it will be a battle that first period we saw the teams very leveled as they were tied for most of it till right there at the end where West Alabama started creating mo more ball movement, drawing more fouls, and causing it. We're open that head coach Anthony Kamara gave them a nice little speech in that locker room to get them fired up for this next half. Hopefully. We'll have a great second half. So we're only a minute and 15 away from the start of the second period.
Right from Bertolette. Uh, here on the far end of the court, one minute up. Minute remaining to the end of this halftime. So, as we get ready to start this second period, we're gonna get to see what exactly went down, in, what kind of speech went down in that locker room and what can happen here in this second period for the Falcons. Both teams meeting with their coaches, trying to draw up a strategy for the second half. For those just coming back in, we're here at Trustmark Arena here at, what, at the University of Montevallo. Score is 29-33 in favor of the West Alabama Tigers. And the clock goes off and we're ready to go here. So, will the Falcons have, in this 20 minute period, pull out a big win here at home in front of this big home crowd? Or will the West Alabama Tigers walk away with another win and their first win in the conference. All will be decided here in this second period. Checking in is Curran Curran. And we're underway for the second period of this matchup between Montevallo and West Alabama. Shadarian Allen with the ball, passing it over to Curran Allen, or Curran Gardner. And CJ Moulton loses control, but regains. Tyler Durham puts up the two, layup misses, and then rebounds and gets that second chance shot, and puts it in. And now JC McNeil with the ball. Drives in, and he's going to get called for a foul there. That's his third foul of the game. Now checking it in is Curran Garner. J.C. McNeil coming out, and a Austin Latch comes in for the Falcons. Justin Allison has the ball for the West Alabama Tigers. And he's guarded by MJ Jones. He tosses it down to Shadarian Allen, covered by Mason Shiflett. Shadarian pulls a three and he misses off that inside rim. That goes out for a Falcons ball. Checking it in is Braxton Bertolette to MJ Jones. MJ Jones, freshman of the week. After dropping major points against Tampa, Tay Smith pump fakes, puts it up, and roll, finger rolls into the basket for a two. Pulls a pump fake there and goes around the outside and just late finger rolls that one all right on into the basket, 31-35. MJ Smith poking in there, trying to get that ball loose. CJ Milton trying to pull the pick and roll. Curran Gardner passes over to CJ, back to Justin Allison. Justin Allison tries over to Curran. Curran steps out, puts it up, and misses. And in Gardner, or Austin Latch is there for the rebound. Passes it over to Mason Shifflett. Drives over, gives it to MJ Jones. Pick and roll. Oh, MJ steps back, rolls, put, lays up, hits the inside of the rim. And Terry Durham is there to collect the rebound. With the ball, Curran Gardner drives in, puts it up to CJ Melton. CJ Melton puts it in for a three. And Braxton Burlett puts it back in for MJ Jones. MJ over to Braxton. And Tay Smith with the ball. And Mason pulls up. Three! Mason Shiflett, three-pointer. There we go. There's the hot start to this, first per this second period for the Falcons. And now Justin Allison with the ball for the West Alabama Tigers. Over to Tyler. Over to Ty Terry Durham. Now back to Justin Allison. Curran Gardner with the ball now. Curran Gardner. 
is a leading three-point shooter. Justin Allison, three-pointer. Off that front rim, Braxton Burley rebounds. Now driving in, drops it back, tries to drop it back to Macy Shiflet. Curran Gardner with the drive. And CJ Melton throws it down. Falcons now down by six. After a straight slam by CJ Melton. Tay Smith with the ball, passes to NJ Jones. Back to Tay Smith. Tay Smith pulls up for three. Oh, off that back edge of the rim. And Justin Allison is there to collect the ball. Justin Allison drives in, passes back out to Curran Gardner. Gardner pulls up for the three and makes a three for Gardner. And Montevallo calls for a timeout. Only down by nine, Falcons are. Oh, well, Falcons only down by nine here to the West Alabama Tigers. Falcons gonna try to draw up a plan here in this timeout, figure out what they gotta do here. Just saw there, that was that Maisie Tay Smith. There's that Mason Shiflet three-pointer, deep. This is that pass out to Austin, Justin Allison, and it was rebounded by Braxton Bertolet. Braxton tried to pass it back, and here's this throwdown by CJ Milt. It stares down. Braxton to the lead. That's that pass out to Current Gardner for that three. And that was when time would be called. So, some of the second period stats. West Alabama is four for eight on field goals, two for three on threes, and 0 and 0 on free throws. For the Falcons, in the second period, they are two for four in free and field goals, one for two and threes, and 0 and 0 for free throws. Overall, both teams on game wise, it's 15 for four, 15 for 41, five for 20, and eight for 13 for the Alabama Tigers. And for the Falcons, nine for 27 field goal, four for 12 on three pointers, and 12 for 15 on free throws. With the ball, MJ Jones passes it over to Braxton Bertolet, then back to Miss Shiflet. Falcons trying to. Create some ball movement here and put this in, that ball in. And Austin Latch there for the two. It's a missed three, but he's there to put it right back in. To tap it right back in for the two. Dustin Allison with the ball for the West Alabama Tigers. CJ. Trying to create ball movement here as West Alabama. And Mason Shiflet with a steal there. MJ Jones with the ball, pulls up, three-pointer. Oh, just short, hitting that front rim. And it's West Alabama's ball. And I think we're gonna have a media timeout here. 36-43 with 15-39 left in this first, second period. So. So as I said before, ball movement is going to be a pretty key thing here for the Falcons if they want to get back into this game. And as we saw at the beginning of the period, some great ball movement. And threes were made to help put them closer. And then, all of a sudden, West Alabama went straight back onto the offensive and put themselves up 43. But Falcons aren't going away without a fight as they're only down. Seems they find themselves down by nine. Only down by nine, the Falcons are. Mason Schiffler pulling his team, teammates in close, giving them a good pet talk, telling them this is what's got to happen. We got to get it done. 
Mason Shiflett is still a very vital role to this team, as he's only a sophomore. So checking it in is Shadarian Allen for the West Alabama Tigers. And C.J. Milton. C.J. Milton was right there to get open to pass back in. And passing it around West Alabama right now with his Justin Allison. Now it's Shadarian Allen. And he passes it in quick to Terry Durham. Terry Durham puts it up. And we're going to have a foul here on Tay Smith, it seems. Tay Smith draws his third foul, personal foul of the game. And Terry Durham will take this first free throw shot. And he will make it. And we'll see a change here as Aiden Gardner comes in for Tay Smith. So score, 44-36. Here's the shot, his second free throw by Terry Durham. And that one misses. And we're going to have another foul. And that's by Mason Shiflett. And that's a personal foul. And that's going to be a check in. And we'll have another foul on that end again. And that's by Austin Lodge. That's his second personal foul of the game. And now Terry Durham steps back up to take another two free throws. And he misses that first one. And there's a shot, and he misses. And MJ Jones is there to collect that rebound for the Falcons. Braxton Berlin now with the ball. Tries to get it to Aiden Gardner, but Terry Durham taps it away. But uh, wow, Terry Durham sticking his hand in there and just getting that ball away. And now CJ Melton takes it away. He drives up the field. CJ back up and gets a, throws it down again. That time on Mason Shiflett. Now with the ball is MJ Jones. Falcons down by 10. Sort of seeing the same thing in the women's game. And we're going to see Peter Ture come into the game. And checking in is Tyler Moore for the Falcons. Shiflet wide open, pulls up three. Oh, and he misses. Tyler Moore there to collect it. Mr. Shiflet open again, pulls up three. Oh, he misses again. And we have a foul here. We have another personal foul on number three, Curran Garner. That is his third, and that's West Alabama's first team foul. And now in is number 22, Thaddeus Williams. Falcons will be checking in the ball with Tyler Moore. Aiden Garner gets the ball. Aiden Garner drives in, puts it up. Lays it up in for a two. And Gardner with the two there for the layup. Thaddeus Williams now with the ball. Montevallo has got to have some good defense here. West Alabama has been moving that ball very effectively tonight. CJ Milton with that ball, with the ball. Out to Justin Allison, up for the three, and he makes it for the West Alabama Tigers. Now up by 11. Tyler Moore with the ball for the Falcons. As he tries to 
find a way up into the shooting lane. Drives up, puts it up for the two, and he just misses. But Justin Allison is there to collect the ball. Daddy Williams with the ball. Attempting a pick and roll, but Braxton Bertolette picks up that switch. And Justin Allison with another three. Off that back corner. Aiden Gardner with the ball, drives up. Makes a shift with the ball. He was trying to get on a fast break there. Can't get out, can't get up fast enough. Out to Tyler Moore. Tyler Moore with the ball, drives in. Puts it up. We're going to have a personal foul here on CJ Melton. That's his third foul of the game and the second team foul. And taking this free throw is Tyler Moore for the Falcons. And Tyler Moore makes that one. And now we're going to see some subs here. Curran Gardner and Terry Durham come in for West, uh, West Alabama. And for Montevideo Falcons, we see MJ Jones and Kendon Knight come in. And here's the shot. And Tyler Moore makes that one as well. Falcons only down by nine with 12.55 to go. Currently, and there's, and drop down to Terry Durham, Terry Durham. And we're gonna have a travel called on Terry Durham. Tyler Moore to check in this ball. He'll give it over. MJ Jones with the ball for the Falcons. Pass it over to Tyler Moore. Over to Kendon Knight. MJ Jones picking up right where he left off. Oh, what a move. What a move by Braxton Bertolette to try to get up there and put in a fade. Jump shot. But the rebound causes a foul on number two, Kendon Knight. And Justin Allison will check that in to Thaddeus Williams as it is West Alabama's ball. N.J. Jones covering Thaddeus Williams. Thaddeus Williams drives in and blocked by Aiden Gardner over to Braxton Bertolette. Tosses up to Aiden Gardner. Aiden Gardner puts it up, puts it in for two. 42-49 for the Falcons. What a magnificent bit of play there by the Falcons. All starts with that Aiden Gardner block. Turns into an Aiden Gardner two point. Justin Allison was wide open there on the far side. Gets it over to Thaddeus Williams. Six on the shot clock. Over to Justin Allison. We're gonna have a foul here. Kinda Knight draws a personal foul, reaching. That's his third foul of the game. And we'll have a media timeout here. Score, 49-42, Falcons only down by seven. As I said, folks, the key here for the Falcons to get back into this game is going to be effective ball movement. And that's what we're starting to see here. And they got big into this game with that amazing Aiden Gardner block. And then he, they set, it sets him back up to put it in for two. I think that's what we're, all right, there's that. Justin Allison, three. And we're gonna see, there's that Aiden Gardner block. You can see Tyler Moore puts it back up, up to Braxton Burlet, and then he dumps it to In Gardner, and he just barrels his way in and puts that up in there for two.
And that's where our score sits at right now, 49-42 after that point. Some of the stats in the second half for the West Alabama Tigers, they're shooting field goal, six for 12, three pointers, three for five, free throws, one for four. For the Falcons, field goals at five for 13, one for five and two for two on free throws. So here we go, checking it in is Curran Gardner. He puts it out there to Terry Durham. Terry Durham covered by Kendon Knight over to Thaddeus Williams. Thaddeus Williams trying to find it in there. And Justin Allison wide open, pulls three. And he makes it, ladies and gentlemen. Falcons back down by two. NJ Jones with the ball over to Tyler Moore. He was looking for Aiden Gardner there, but Aiden waving him off saying, don't go here. Braxton Burlatt with the ball. Ten seconds on the shot clock. NJ Jones shields that away. Over to Kendon Knight, over, pulls up for the three, and off that front rim, but puts back in. It's Aiden Gardner, ladies and gentlemen. Aiden Gardner, go have yourself a night. Falcons back on defense. This is another key point that the Falcons need to work on, is defense holding up. Justin Allison open again with that three. Ladies and gentlemen, Justin Allison is a absolute sniper if he is left open over there on that far side for that three. Curran Gardner with the ball, drives in. And then Curran Gardner tries to do a, tries to put it up for the three and we're gonna have a foul here on West Alabama. And that's on Terry Durham, that personal. That's his second personal foul of the night. Taking the free throw is Braxton Bertolet. Over here on the near side, we're going to see a substitution. We're going to see Mason Shiflett and Tay Smith come into the game for Tyler Moore and NJ Jones as Braxton Bertolet makes that free throw. Mason Shiflett still staying on that side. CJ Milton comes into the game for the West Alabama Tigers. Score 45 55. Mason Shiflett, Braxton Bertolette takes a shot. Mason Shiflett replacing Braxton Bertolette. Score 46 55. Falcons only down by nine with 9.45 remaining. Checking in is number three, Curry and Gardner over to Justin Allison, covered by NJ Jones. And Curry and Gardner with the ball here. Justin Allison now with the ball, driving in. Fade, misses over to 21. Peter Ture misses, but Mason Shipley is there. MJ Jones. And Justin Allison is there to collect that ball. Thaddeus Williams with the ball. Covered by MJ Jones. They're gonna try to do a pick and roll here. They pick it up, CJ Melton was wide open for the three. Now he drives in. Throws it out to Curran Gardner. Shot clock at three. Puts it up off that back edge of the board. And shot clock violation. Shot clock violation by the West Alabama Tigers. And now taking this. Now take it in for the Falcons is J.C. McNeil as he comes in. Now in for... West Alabama Tigers. Seems like Shadarian Allen came in. And Tyler Moore now has the ball. It was checked into him. Tyler Moore with the ball over to Mason Shiflett. 
Jay Knight pulls up three. It misses. And we're going to have a personal foul on number two, Justin Allison, it looks like. Nope. It will be on Shadarian Allen. That's his third foul of the game. Tay Smith will be taking this free throw. Tay Smith taking his first free throws for the game. And he makes that one. Now in for West Alabama is Terry Durham. Coming in for number 21, Peter Teray. Jay Smith stepping up to the line for his second free throw. Here's the shot. And it's off that back edge of the rim and out. And now score is 47-55 with 8-10 left. Falcons really need to step up on defense here. And open with Terry Durham. He drives in and puts that in for two, ladies and gentlemen. With the ball is J.C. McNeil. Tyler Moore with the ball over to Terry Smith. J.C. McNeil now with the ball. Tried to do a pick and roll there. Shots up off that front edge of the rim. And that's going to go out on. That's going to go out on the Falcons. And now we have a media timeout. Seven minutes and 36 seconds remaining. And the Falcons are only down by 10, ladies and gentlemen. It's 47-57. Falcons, as we start to see here, it's starting to get a little bit tiring for them. But this is the most important part of the game. They need to start stepping up. Defense is looking a little array. They need to fix up the defense there. As we saw, Justin Allison was open for about three threes there on that one attempt, and that gave them about nine points. So I'm hearing. Yep, Justin Allison was up, has made three threes. All of those three threes were within that one, one scoring run. So, as we get ready to head back out on the court, Falcons are looking to try to get back into this. Only down by 10. So, what are we going to see here? Defense has to step up in a big way here to help create more offensive looks to get back into this game. As I said, only down by 10 points. Not that bad of a deficit, ladies and gentlemen. Saw the same thing in the women's game. Falcons were only down by 10 points. And in the last couple of seconds, they were able to make a huge comeback. Braxton Burlick. Now Justin Allison has the ball for the boys, Alabama Tigers. Now Thaddeus Williams over to Darian Allen. And he drives into the shooting lane. Puts it back out to CJ Melton and makes the three. CJ Melton with that three over down that far side. Tay Smith open. Pump fake over to J.C. McNeil for the three. And off that inside rim. Justin Allison with that ball. Staring down with the ball. Staring down with the ball there on that far side. Covered by J.C. McNeil. He comes up, tries to put it in. And we're going to see a free throw made by Peter Ture. J.C. McNeil with the ball. 
Uh, Tay Smith back to Braxton Bertolet. Over to Tyler Moore, Tyler Moore, pull three, makes the three from deep. Tyler Moore with a deep three. Only down by 12. Tyler Moore in covered. Darian Allen drives in, puts it up, and makes the layup. Personal foul on Mason Shiflett. That's his third personal foul. And Gardner checks back into the game. Shadarian Allen taking the one free throw shot after making the two. And he makes it. Now 15 point deficit. Five minutes left. 5.42 left. J.C. McNeil with the ball over to Braxton Bertolette. Braxton Bertolette trying to find an open play. Over to Aiden Gardner. This will be a West Alabama check-in. And rebound collected by Tay Smith. J.C. McNeil with the ball. Drives up, puts it up to Aiden Gardner, and he dumps it in. Aiden Gardner is having himself a night as well. He is three for four. And with that one, he's now four for five. Ball goes out on Mason Shiflet. Coaches battling over whether that was a foul or not. But Thaddeus Williams has the ball covered by J.C. McNeil. He tosses it up to Shadari now and called by, covered by Mason Shifflin. He pulls up, shoots the two off that. That's a jump ball going West Alabama's way, it seems. That was on Aiden Gardner, it looked like. Jump ball. And it's over to Terry Durham, number five, and gives it right back to Thaddeus Williams. Back to Terry Durham. We're gonna have a foul here on. That's a personal foul on number three, James McNeil. And taking the free throws is Terry Durham. Terry Durham is on, is on fire tonight. He is six for nine on field goals and 0 for one on three points, but he is five for nine on his free throws tonight. And it's up, and he misses. Braxton Bertolet there to collect that one. Over to MJ Jones. 4.15 left in this first period. MJ Jones drives in. Over to Kendon Knight. Kendon Knight dumps it off to Braxton Bertolet. Braxton Bertolet drives. Over to Mason Shiflet. Mason Shiflet. Mason Shiflet goes to put it up, and he gets stuffed. But that will be a foul. On uh, number 22, Thaddeus Williams. That is his third of the game.
And Mason Shifflett will take these two free throws for the Falcons. And the shot is up and it's in. 18 fouls for the Falcons and five for the West Alabama Tigers. Mason Shifflett steps up for his second one. And here's it up and it's off that inside room. Justin Allison with the ball over to C.J. Melton. C.J. Melton walks in and airballs the air balls that one. Up through Aiden Gardner. Aiden Gardner back to Mason Shifflett. And that goes out on Montevallo. And we will have a media timeout. So, Falcons down by 12 points in this one. They're gonna, with only 3.41 left, they're really gonna have to move this ball around, find the openings, so they can get back into this one. Well, look here, this is, a, this is that rebound made by Peter Ture. Now we look at this Tyler Moore three. That one's from deep. Foul off of number 24, Mason Schifflet. That was from Starian Allen. Tay Smith's rebound that he collects. That's that jump off to Aiden Gardner. Everyone was hoping that one was a foul right there, that last play there on the replay. So, some of the stats. Falcons, 15 for 43 on field goals. Three-pointers, five for 20. Three throws, 18 for 23. Eight, eight, 27, and 35 on rebounds. 21 and 17 on fouls. Five assists, 21 TOs, and five steals. West Alabama now with the ball. Curran Gardner drives down the court. Now covered by Braxton Bertolet. Curran Gardner still with the ball. Pass it over to Justin Allison. Back over to Curran Gardner. Opens to Darian Allen. Doesn't pull that free shot. But we will see a foul here. And it's on Aiden Gardner, number 32. That's his fourth personal foul, and that is the ninth team foul for the Falcons. Stepping up to take the free throw for the West Alabama Tigers is Shadarian Allen, and the first one is in. He will have two attempts. That was the first attempt. And here goes the second shot. And he misses. Seeing a pretty consistent thing here is on the second shot, the free throw is missed. Up to Aiden Gardner. And Justin Allison getting a second personal foul. That's gonna be checked in by MJ Jones. MJ Jones up to Aiden Gardner. Aiden Gardner drives in over to MJ Jones. MJ Jones pulls three and makes it. MJ Jones knocks it down for the three. Down by six, 250 left. And Curran Gardner with the ball over to CJ Melton. It's going to be and we're going to have a personal foul pushing on Braxton Bertolet and Shadarian Allen will take another free throw attempt here. Another two free throw attempt. And here's 
Sets up to the line. And here's the first free throw shot. And that one is in. Now up by 11. And steps up to the line for the second shot. And here, yeah, it's up. And it's in. Now one for the West Alabama Tigers is Thaddeus Williams, number 22. Falcons, it seems that Kinda Knight has came into the game. MJ Jones with the ball. Over to Mason Shiflett. Mason Shiflett trying to dance around. Thaddeus Williams pulls up into the shoe lane, lays up for the two. Mason Shiflett trying to watch this. Find Thaddeus Williams wide open over the CJ Melton. And now the Falcons regroup on defense. And Kinda Knight drawing a foul there. It's going to be a foul. That's his fourth foul of the night. And that will be C.J. Melton taking the free throws. C.J.'s first free throw. And it's in. Now in for the Falcons is Tay Smith as he replaces Kin tonight. And CJ Melton steps up to the line for his second shot. And it's up. And it's in. Score 58 70. In favor of the West Alabama Tigers. 213 left in the second period. And Gardner puts it in. No. No. And we're going to have a personal foul on Shadarian Allen. And that is his fourth of the game. And taking the free throws is Aiden Gardner. And he's going to have two free throws here. And he misses. And he makes that one. Aiden Gardner's last free throw. He steps up to the line. And he shoots. And that one's off. Falcons trying to play tight defense here on him. And that one goes out on the West Alabama Tigers. Just a minor miscommunication there. And now the Falcons have an opportunity to catch back up on more points. Legion points so far is Terry Durham for the West Alabama Tigers and for the Falcons, number 12, uh, Braxton Bertolette with 12 points. And Tay puts it in for two. <laughs> Trying to play tight defense over here on their end of the court. Get that ball back. So, a uh, minute 15 remaining, only down by nine points. 10 on the shot clock. CJ Melton drives in over to Thaddeus Williams. Thaddeus Williams pulls up for the three. Shadarian Allen gets that rebound. CJ Melton's wide open. 10 on the shot clock. Mason Shiflett draws a personal foul. That's his fourth personal foul of the game. 50 seconds left in this one, folks. And the energy is low here at Trust Mark Arena. And now coming in for the Falcons, number 23, Austin Latch. And we're going to 
see a 30. We're going to see a timeout here. 50 seconds left. Falcons down by 11, set, by 11 points. So, the real question is, can the Falcons get back in this? Shiflet, this is that Mason Shiflet two-point. Yes, that that's the Tay Smith two-pointer. So, 30 seconds goes by, and we're back into this. Score 72-61, folks. Mason Shiflet now takes over as the top scorer for tonight's game with 13 points. Up to Aiden Gardner and he throws it down. Aiden Gardner throws it down. What a play. What a absolute play. They find the open man driving up to the paint and he throws it down. Still behind by nine with 25 seconds left. We'll see a foul draw. MJ Jones will draw his third foul of the night. And up for up to take his shots is Justin Allison as he gets two. And his second shot is up, and it's good. Falcons back down to 11. 20 seconds left. MJ Jones with the three, and boom! Makes it. And that's going to be out on the Falcons, but Tay Smith. Great hustle there by Tay Smith to try to stop that. 13 seconds left. And we're going to see West Alabama call a timeout here. Sixty-six seventy-four. Falcons down by eight. We'll see a 30-second timeout here for the Tigers. Some of the stats for tonight's game so far as we are only 13 seconds away from the end. The totals for the Falcons shot field goal wise, 18 for 46, three pointers six for 21, and for free throws 19 for 25. For rebounds overall they have 36, and for fouls 25. They have six assists, 21 takeaways, and five steals. West Alabama has 23 for 51 for field goals, 9 for 24, 27 on three-pointers, and 19 for 21, 29 free throws. Overall rebounds, they have 34, 19 fouls, 12 assists, 13 takeaways, and 9 steals. 10 seconds remaining in this last minute, last bit of game. Scores. Austin Lance will draw a personal foul again, and it is his third of the night. This will be a Thaddeus Williams taking this, these two free throws here for the West Alabama Tigers. And it's up, and it's good. Now up by nine points with only eight seconds left. As the crowd starts to dwindle down here at Trustmark Arena. And the shot is up and it's in. And now they are up by 10. Falcons looking to at least make it a somewhat close game as MJ with a <laughs> jump shot for two. 68-76 will be your final score, ladies and gentlemen. 
in favor of the West Alabama Tigers. Folks, what an amazing game tonight. Both games. But West Alabama walks out of here with a sweep for both women and men basketball. Next games for the Falcons will be against Mississippi College at Mississippi College on the 22nd at 7 p.m. So Falcons will move to 1 and 3, 0 oh and 2 in the conference, and West Alabama will improve their West their conference record to 1 and 0 oh, as this was their first conference win. That's all from here at Josh Margarita. Thank you. Good night. I'm Megan Golden. See you later.